morning guys it's Tuesday I'm running late but on a brighter note I got up and I worked out today which is pretty fabulous it was tough I'll admit that but I'm glad that I did it um, now I gotta get to work got a lot of meetings on the on the docket today so yeah that sucks but I think I'm gonna go to Pizza Pete's and get one of the best slices of pizza in the city for lunch today. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. Honestly, I didn't think that there was gonna be a piece of pizza that was as good as Pete's pizza. So, that's a lesson to everyone. I don't know what that lesson is. <laughs> uh, maybe, um, yeah, I don't know. All right, sorry. I have to go to work, I am late. All right, see you guys in a little while. So my first meeting of the day took 15 minutes, which is a very good sign for the rest of the day. However, now I need pizza. I'm hungry, it's lunchtime. why it looks weird and so I minimize all my windows you know like I pull them all down and this is this is what my background is absorb that intensity for a second um yeah I don't I and I I was like what where did this come from what is it I don't know what's going on this is so weird and then I remembered that on Sunday, we ordered Seamless with Emily and Will, and I handed both of them my computer on which to order. I quickly sent a text message, and I said, which of you is the troublemaker who changed the background on my laptop? And Will fesses up as being the culprit behind the background image prank. Oh well, you're just a troublemaker. Trouble maker. Anyway, I thought it was kind of funny. Pretty sure I'm gonna change it back now, but it was a good laugh. All right, guys. So that was unnecessary. You could have turned that back off, actually. I feel, I feel no, no, no. Okay. It was actually turn it back off. It was much better before. Yeah, no, it's yeah, true. it's much better. No, it's not true. You don't know what you're talking about. Hi guys. Hey, what's going on? All right, so we just finished dinner, and I had a cookie. I did not have a cookie. Eric says it's my fault that he didn't have a cookie. Yeah, it's your fault. I didn't have a cookie. Who got you a cookie? I got myself a cookie. Did after you get me lunch, a cookie? And I didn't eat it, so I saved it. Did you for get later. me a cookie? How many times do you get cookies and I don't? No, 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 it's not, it's not a matter of, you're breaking it down into cookies. I've gotten yeah, things for you. That is in fact how I've gotten works. things for you. I bought it for myself as dessert after lunch and then I decided not to eat it. So you could have bought yourself a cookie and saved it for later. I would have, I would have gotten you a cookie. It was supposed to be for after lunch. I just didn't eat it. And she just sat here and enjoyed a cookie and I did not have a cookie. It was a good cookie. We're not friends right now. Okay. All right. So, how was your day? Eh, but, but, so, recently, as in yesterday, as in December 5th, I received the Oculus Touch controllers. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. Wow. Happy? Yeah. So, you know, I like the HTC Vive. Like, it's cool because yeah. you have the controllers and that's really, really neat. The Oculus Touch controllers just feel better. 
Do they really? They really do feel I better. I haven't had a chance to play with them yet. They really feel better. I just, I, 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 I like them a lot. Um, yesterday when I got it, I just had the tech demo, which you actually saw a little bit of the tech demo. Yeah. Remember, it was kind of neat. Butterfly on You the have finger. a butterfly on your finger, butterfly in the sky. I can go twice as high. No, so the butterfly, and then there was like a rocket, like a um, firework that you can shoot up. That was all neat. Today, I woke up and they were like, hey, you got this, and here's a free code to get some more games. So today was the first time that I actually played some games. And I played The Unspoken? I don't know. You okay. didn't actually show okay. me, so I, I can't. I think it's called The Unspoken, where you're a wizard. Mm hmm Which is kind of my thing. Like... He loves himself some wizards. I love myself some wizards. So it's really cool. Um, you, you cast spells by pulling the trigger, like a fireball shows up in your hand. And the longer you hold it down, the more powerful it becomes. Nice. The left trigger creates a shield. Good. Um, the middle finger buttons, if you press them both together and hold them up in the air, you create these bottle rockets, which you then light and they attack your opponent. If you press the middle fingers and you hold the hand, your hands down, mm -hmm. you create a push spell, which is like a skull. And middle fingers cross creates a barrier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally DX. Um... So it's really cool. And then there's like special items you can look down and there's like, if you gain enough like special jewels, I don't remember the exact terminology, but then you can get added weapons and there's like a little hammer. And when you pick up the hammer, um, you can cast a spell by like banging the hammer against uh what do you call that thing when you, when you bang? An anvil? A anvil, that's it. Wow. That's it. I, I don't have know my, how I got that. My brain, that, that was good. I that's good. I win all the points. So you bang the hammer on the anvil, but there's like specific areas and it changes mm -hmm. every time. Then you get like a magic spear and you throw it. Anyway. Basically it sounds very magical. It's really magical. You teleport from like a uh, pillar to pillar and you're fighting against someone else who either the computer player or someone else who has this. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. What it is, is it called again? It's called the unspoken. Okay. Super cool. Because you cast spells without saying them. Besides the unspoken, there is um, a paint program, which I'm going to call it Quill. I don't know if that's true. But it's it's like, so remember HTC Vive's yeah. um, painting program? Yeah. Oculus has their own. Okay. Which I think it's called Quill. Don't quote me on that. Really cool. Just like Vive, you can paint in this 3D space. Super exciting. But you're gonna yawn. So yawn. tired. You're always tired. So the I'm really so guys, I promise. The really cool thing. This actually was really this cool. This is actually really cool. Yeah. The really cool thing. So once again, I got this yesterday. This morning I woke up because I got the code and I downloaded some stuff and I was like, hey, here's a bunch of other programs that you're getting for free. One of them was called Medium. This is the coolest VR thing I've seen so Oh my far. goodness. So what Medium is, it's a 3D sculpting program. Wait, think about that for a second. You can sculpt 3D things in VR. Not painting, like you, you, you sculpt just like you would in real life. Right. So let's Without just... the mess. Or needing to buy clay. And there's different tools. Like you can get yeah, different tools. Yeah, you have all the regular tools. And depending how far away you are from the object is how much you would like manipulate it. Oh, okay. So if you zoom in, you can get a lot more finer detail. Yeah. So that's really cool. So I saw someone create, for instance, an octopus. Right? Okay. So he made an octopus. You can, you know, zoom in. He made fine detail, cut in, blah, blah, blah. All that really cool Tentacles. stuff. Sure. But the huge selling point to me. Yeah. Dexter's going to drink some water. The huge selling point to me was after he created this three-dimensional object in this space, you can one, share it. Cool. Cool. Other people can see what you've designed. Mm -hmm. But the big thing was you can download it as an OBJ file. Yup. 
you might be saying, well, what does that mean? I don't get it. That doesn't mean anything. If you download an OBJ file, you can also convert that OBJ into to an STL file. Which is a printable... 3D printing! Oh my god, you can sculpt things and then have them be 3D printed. <sighs> That's just... That, Pretty I mean, much the coolest Really, thing. that kind of just blew my mind this morning. I was like, yeah. wait, I mean, not that I can sculpt or design. Can. She can. But, you know, if I'm I got so good at this, this, like, you could get in there and kind of just make something and... Just, in this 3D world, yeah, and print exactly it out. Right. It's it, it's really amazing. I'm, it's really yeah. I can't wait to try it out and see how easy it is to use the tools. Mm, I don't want to say it's easy. No, I meant like how intuitive the tools. There you go. Feel. That's that's, that's what I'm trying. Well, to they they they've interviewed some like designers who are used to sculpting. Yeah. And they said it feels so natural. Cool. I'm down to give it a shot. All right. Do you want to sign off? I think that's pretty much all we had today. I feel like I was still in this, and then okay. she just was like, Fine. you're done. Like, this is, cut it. Wrap it up, music. Let's wrap it up. I'm um, gonna get a cane and pull them off. Uh, so that's really cool. So expect this one to design something in medium. Yeah. Soon-ish, this weekend? Maybe, we'll see. Yeah. She'll design it's it. Your birthday. Even if it's that a cube. Even if it's a cube. We should just we should just make something. A cube? That's th boring. Yeah, I know. But we should design something. We should print it out. We should show people. We should record it. Okay. Your design and then us 3D printing it. Okay. And see how that goes. Cool. Um <clears throat> the other thing that I'm kind of working on. I know wrap it up. I want to go to bed. Done. Oh my god, I'm so tired. I know wrap it up. The other thing that I'm I'm looking it's to do, here. obviously you you've seen our table. Um I really want to make this a modular table and the one thing that we realize we're missing are cup holders for the table but I don't want them built in um, so I am at the moment 3D printing I didn't create this in medium um, I did it in 123 D 123 3D design it's a weird name um, it does not roll off the not at all so I created this cup holder in that program it's 3d printing now and when it's done in what 25 hours a lot of hours um tomorrow night after we go to bed in theory we should be able to just hook it on to the table and have a cup holder and then he has to print three more of them. three to five more yeah depending yep let's see how this goes yeah we're gonna this is basically um a feasibility test to make yeah. sure that it's gonna work for what we wanted right do. it has a cup holder and i actually just purchased this um which is three and a half inches in diameter in diameter and it holds most pretty of much all cups. the glasses we own. yeah so the hole that i've made on my 3d design is actually oh i think i might have messed up you want to go stop it and start it again? I think I might have made it four inches. That won't fit that. That won't fit that. It needs to be right, three go, and a half inches. Go stop it and start over. But you get the idea. All right. All I'm right. going to go work on that. I'm she gonna, gets to wrap I'm, it up. I'm going to wrap it up. We're going to go to bed. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Have a great night. Check Smash out Medium day. for Oculus. It's yes. pretty amazing. All right. Bye. See you guys tomorrow. See ya.